Radio V. Oh my God. And welcome, my friend Murray Bartlett, to Man Chat. Hi. <laughs> I'm exhausted because I stayed up last night binge watching your show, which I have to tell you is wonderful. And I'm going to try not to gush. I just, I loved it. I loved it. So good. I feel like it's actually a really good way to watch it. Yeah. To binge watch it. Because it's, you know, the episodes are so, so short. And particularly in the beginning, you know, like, you just kind of come into these people's lives and then it kind of, it gradually accelerates. So I feel it's, it's almost, you know, made like a film in a way. So I think it's kind of, I think that is kind of a good way to watch it. It's very it. cinematic. I love the way that, I love the way that it's shot. I love the pace of it. I love the tone of it. I really, I really like everything about it. Um, and I love, love, love your character. Like my favorite, easily, easily. No, seriously. Oh, and you're good. wonderful. Oh, by the way, you're wonderful. The work is so good, Murray. I mean, I, I knew, I mean, I've seen your work before. I know it's wonderful. It's really, really great work. Yeah. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, you should be, I'm, I'm sure you are very pleased with it, but how did you, how did you get the show? Um, I mean, I auditioned, you yeah. know, like everyone else. I mean, I, I'd met uh, Andrew Haig years before at um i was in a, a film that was at some film festivals and his amazing film weekend was at some of those festivals and so i met him briefly there um and uh, michael lannan our, our the show's creator <clears throat> i'd also met him socially just kind of briefly I, he and a few others uh here in brooklyn we kind of you know went out a couple of times for a beer and talked about things we were working on and you know i had this mm -hmm. sort of like uh creative hot house uh, uh, group meeting for you know a couple of times, um, but I didn't know either of them well. But that was sort of a connection point, I guess. And then I was in uh, in Egypt, sort of. Uh, I was doing some stuff there, but also was you know trying to figure out whether I wanted to do this acting thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then my my agent sent me this uh, audition through, and I I put myself on tape, and then you know then began the whole sort of. Audition. Wow! So you were actually in Egypt when you and you had to put yourself on tape for this show. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Which is why I had the mustache actually, because I was uh, I was you know attempting to look like less of a foreigner in yeah. Egypt. I, I have to say, I love the mustache. I yeah. love it. Yeah, I really yeah. loved having it, and I was sort of reluctant to get rid of it. I kept it through half of our publicity, and then I shaved it off um, because it seemed like a good thing to you know show me without a mustache. Yeah. In some of our publicity stuff. Talking specifically now about about looking and your character. Um, just talk to, talk to me, just tell us a little bit about Dom and, and your relationship to him and, and the development of that character, what you like about him, how, what you like about playing him, or what are the challenges of playing him? I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm in the same age group as Dom, I'm not ashamed to say. And uh, <laughs> perhaps because when this job came along, I was, as I was saying before, I was going through this whole, like, do I want to keep doing the acting thing? You know, I think once you... When you hit 40, or for me anyway, I wasn't really thinking about it, but then when I hit 40, I was like, I'm 40. Like, I, I want to be, be doing um, as much as possible. I want to be doing things that my heart is in and that I, you know, are kind of directing me towards, you know, being happy in, in, you know, in, in every moment as much sure. as possible. As cheesy as that sounds. But no, I, not at all. You know, and so I had, you know been through and was going through the, this sort of phase of asking myself really big big questions about, um, you know, the meaning of life in general and the meaning of my life and, you know, how I want to spend my time. And so, and, you know, Dom was going through that exact same thing. Well, you touched on it, but one of the things I that I did want to point out was, and I think it's very, very typical in a, in a good way of, of men of Dom's age is this transition from, you know, this sort of... Twinkie sex or, or just hot man sex and, and what that is to um, being with someone that um, provides some kind of, that, that is centered. The opportunity right. for real connection, the opportunity for real intimacy, for real love, as opposed to just sort of this passing thing. And, yeah. um, you know, your character is right in the middle of it. I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to next season. Because yeah. I want to see, I want to, I imagine that you're going to fail at least a few times as, <laughs> as you sort of make this transition. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's also the interesting thing in the way that, you know, the, the sort of 
the interaction between Lin and Dom develops is they kind of, it's, it's just like stumbling along and they can't quite connect. And I, I think that that's probably largely due to Dom because he's like, he's not sure in the beginning or he doesn't even see it. And then he's, you know, like, I, I think he's got, he's right at the beginning. I think he's got a long way to go in terms of um, kind of embracing any of that stuff of, you know, having a real connection with someone. But, but I think that he's driven by really wanting to have that, but he's just not quite sure how to kind of get into it. One of our Munich fans, Lisa Bodie, uh, she wants to know if Scott Bakula is a good kisser. <laughs> Listen, did you watch Quantum Leap when you were younger? Yeah. Like you watched Quantum Leap and now you're kissing this guy. What is that? I know. It's, it's so bizarre. I mean, yeah, of course he's a good kisser. I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, come on, just tell us. We want to know. T Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV.